Now, trucks used to be workhorse, rugged types of vehicles. Now, they're lifestyle and family cars. Now, what we have here today is one of the most fire trucks out there, but not because of the fiery red color, but because of these. I'll definitely show you what they're all about and what the Nissan Navara Pro 4X is out there in these revised truck wars. What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from zigwheels.ph and it's hot, but we're here to review the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4. Let's take a spin, shall we? Now before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to our Zig team guys out there. Thank you so much for your undying support and watching every one of our videos. If you're not part of the Zig team just yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so that you're alerted whenever you upload a new video. Now let's go ahead and review this thing. Now the exterior of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X has got to be its most defining feature. I mean, take a look at this front end. It's amazing. I mean, I mean, look at this. It's definitely one of those iconic things that's once in a generation, it only comes out. Oh, look at this huge front grille, it's blacked out. I love how blacked out grills look. I don't like chrome in my trucks, and Nissan's definitely heard my prayers. It's got this huge Nissan badge up front with this red typography, this chiseled Navara logo on top, this grille, of course, even the skid plate is blacked out with these red inserts. I mean, one of the more defining features of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X has got to be these things. Bang! I mean, look at that. Those are quad projector LED headlamps. You even have LED fog lamps as well. Now, these projector headlamps, you won't be mistaking this for any other car except for a Nissan Navara Pro 4X if you happen to see this in a pitch black dark road. We got this race bonnet here, which definitely peeks out from the dash while you're driving it. I'll show you guys that out later on. Overall, the front end of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X is the best way to go. Way to go, Nissan. Kudos. And the fun never stops in the side profile of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. I'm gonna keep calling it that, Nissan Navara Pro 4X, so you guys will remember. In fact, Nissan doesn't want you to rem forget as well. It's got that huge Pro 4X badge on the side. Looks kind of retro, but it definitely works on this car. Lightning, right? Look at those black plastic claddings with that red accent on top of it. Definitely fire, guys. Fire red, definitely. You got those 17-inch blacked-out wheels. They have their piano black, which definitely looks nice, with 225-65 R17 all-terrain tires. You know what? I don't see any ounce of chrome at the side panel here, which is great. I love it. You even have piano black side mirrors and, of course, LED repeaters there, blacked-out door handles, and this huge and massive roof rails. Now, usually roof rails would be those flat things right here where you have to work your magic to make it work. But here, no, you can even fit your hand up top, no problems. Oh, wow. You got these huge muscular bulges on the front and the back, which is a carryover from the current generation of Ara. But again, like I said, this is just a facelift, but what a facelift it is. I love the side profile. Let's go ahead and take a look at the behind and see how that works out. Now the hits just keep on coming for the Nissan Navara Pro 4X while most trucks out there have this flat, boring profile. Nissan said, forget that. Let's go ahead and give this a ducktail spoiler and that's what it is. You got these blacked out LED tail lamps. Of course, an easy step board for you to get in and get out of the car, no problems. You got that huge black Nissan badge again with red typography, gives it a more rugged and masculine look. That's, I guess that's what Nissan's going for in this one. But hey, let's look at the inside. One interesting thing about the rear door here is that it's weight assisted, you know? Unlike other trucks out there that, you know, just leave you to your own senses whenever you put it down. But this one here, easy peasy. Inside you find these utility track rails. It's adjustable. Just turn these knobs right here and then push back and push forward. Fine, you can go ahead and put anything you want in here, whatever configuration. You even have those hooks around the bed and this bed can carry about a ton, a ton of weight without counting the passengers inside. So this truck is definitely serious about hauling. All right, now we've seen everything about the outside and that bed. Let's go ahead and the inside and see everything about it that you might be driving about. All right, now that we're inside the uh, Nissan Navara Pro 4X, I can finally remove my uh, 
cult leader glasses here. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Now, typical of Nissan, their interiors are without any drama or any you know pretensions whatsoever. In fact, you won't be finding any soft touch material on the dash what whatsoever. It's hard plastics, hard plastics everywhere here, except of course for the uh, padded center armrest, uh, of course your armrest on the doors, and your lever wrap steering wheel. All right, so speaking of the steering wheel, the steering wheel is definitely adjustable for uh, rake only, if I can find it here, but not for reach. Now you got your uh, audio buttons here and your cruise control buttons on the right side. First thing that's gonna jump right at you is the eight inch touchscreen infotainment system that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Yeah, you got your physical buttons here. And of course, Nissan's signature really, 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 really cold aircon. <laughs> you got your automatic climate control systems here and Nissan definitely gave it a little bit of chrome in the uh, shifter panel right here. It's one of those traditional seven-speed automatics. You can go forward and back just like that. It's not gated. Thankfully, it doesn't mimic a manual transmission. There's no leather boot anywhere, just a leather handle, which is nice. One more thing that I find interesting in the Nissan Navarro is that you got th three 12 volt sockets right in the front as if you can't stop yourself from smoking. Now you, they, they used to hold <laughs> cigarette lighters, but now you can just plug in any of your uh, accessories there for your things. You got USB ports number one, uh, number two in here. And hey, welcome to the future, guys. Finally, I've finally been in a car that has a built-in USB-C port right there. You know what that means. Navarro definitely thinks of itself as future-proof. All right, one thing interesting that you got here is you also have cup holders. Cup holders in the aircon vents here for you to blow that really, 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 really cold aircon into your drinks. Cup holders right here. So yeah, it, all in all, it's not a bad place to be in inside the Nissan Navara. Oh, one thing that I really like about the interior though has got to be these seats. These are called zero gravity seats because they say, well, Nissan says that these zero gravity seats are inspired by those, by the posture of astronauts as they leave space. You know, they say it has perfect posture. Well, I say, yeah, it is one of the nicest interior seats that I've been in in quite a while. So kudos to Nissan for that. You got this huge greenhouse, so it lessens all the blind spots, which is important, especially for a huge truck, but not to worry. It has backup cameras, proximity sensors everywhere, which you can turn off. So there are no problems there. All in all, the interior of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X is a great one to be in. So yeah, let's head on the back. I want to see how the back feels so that we can uh, help you guys out as well with that. All right. Oh, wow. All right, leg room and knee room in the rear section of the uh, Nissan Navara Pro 4X is definitely ample and the seats are nicely molded and <laughs> it doesn't have the zero gravity seats it's the same as the uh, front passengers does but i still feel pretty comfortable in the back i mean you got a lot of headroom and uh there's no soft touch plastics at all here oh this one you got leathers leather armrests on this side the doors but um it's a nice place to be in you got this relatively flat floor so whoever's gonna sit in the middle won't be uh, <laughs> left behind now, the seat seems to be a bit raised uh, compared to the front panel, so at least you can get a good commanding view of the road even though you're sitting in the back. You got a nice center armrest here, more cup holders with all your drinks. You also have rear aircon vents. Rear aircon vents definitely a nice touch here, so you can definitely share more of that really, 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 really cold Nissan aircon. But the thing is, you only have one USB port in the back, so. Whoever's going to be uh, sitting back here, they, they better you know, flip a coin maybe. Uh, who's going to take that USB port? You don't have any map pockets. And of course, you got these nice grab handles. And uh, the interesting part is that the, only the passengers get these grab handles. The front driver doesn't have any, so tough luck. But at least they know what they're getting into. You're definitely owning a Navara. And they chose to get one. <laughs> the passengers don't get to choose that. All right, so yeah. It's a great place to be in. I want to know how this drives because the Nissan Navaros definitely has something that makes it more distinct from the rest of the pack apart from the look. So let's head on over for some wheel time, shall we? Now, before we head off, I'd like to say something about these seats. With the space age design comes space age looks. 
Come on, look at these. Uh, they kind of look like Iron Man's abs. What do you think? <laughs> Leave us a comment in the comment section down below. By the way, the insulation inside is superb thanks to these acoustic glass that they've put in and the extra sound deadening. You can definitely hear everything outside. All you're gonna do is enjoy the music from all these six speakers, which actually sounds pretty dope. And uh, yeah, let's head out for a drive. Let's go. All right, let's get some wheel time behind the Nissan Navara. Pro 4X 4x4, and here's what I think. I get why people buy trucks. I'm not usually a truck guy myself, but look at this. It's like you're mounted on a high horse right here. You got a huge hunking piece of metal right under you, and it gives you the confidence to drive it. Yeah, I know why people like trucks. And the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4 is proof why they're one of the most leading, best-selling cars out there. Now with this car though, I'm not, I mentioned about the uh, exterior bonnet, how it moves up, how it's uh, mounted a little high up. It actually shows up here in the uh, front dash and gives you, like I said, gives you confidence in how you drive it. I mean, it's a big truck, you know, you got all the cameras that you need, but sometimes you gotta go analog. Use the mirrors, use, the, use your eyesight. That's the best possible ca camera and computer combo right here. That's your eyes and your brain. And yeah, you can definitely determine where the truck starts and where it ends, and that helps out with parking. Now under the hood, you've got a 2.5 liter turbo diesel that makes 190 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. It's not class leading, I gotta say, but in that seven speed automatic, you can go to manual mode for you to roll your own gears, but there's no eco mode, there's no sport mode to speak of, which, it's actually a refreshing take on these trucks. Again, going with the analog theme of everything else, it's definitely macho looking. You know, no computers, no settings, no you know, default thingamajigs to think about in this car. But hey, I like it. I think it's great. The only sport mode that you're getting is going to manual and tempering the accelerator pedal with your right foot. So there you go. We're in a section of Manila where get a lot of brick road action on the streets they think it's nice they think it's cool but it's actually a pain in the behind if you ask me but the nissan navar pro x is different in a way it's different from other trucks or even truck based suvs wherein you got independent suspension all around you got double wishbones in front that's right you got double wishbones for front suspensions with a stabilizer bar and a five link independent suspension with coil springs and stabilizer bar as well on the rear. Now for those guys who uh, are quite iffy with non-independent suspensions, you'll definitely have your field day with the Navara Pro 4X 4x4. And it shows inside. It doesn't ride like a regular truck or pickup truck based SUV. It's not, well, it's not hard, right? It's very comfortable inside and excuse me, for brushing off this old cliche, but it's it definitely feels car-like inside here. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that, but with the Namara Pro 4X 4x4, honestly, it really feels like a sedan inside this car, except that you can see everything on the road because it's a huge hulking truck. One thing that we've noticed about the Nissan Navara Pro 4X, like I said earlier, is the sound insulation. The NVH levels is out of this world. Um, Nissan was able to use these acoustic glass here. You won't even hear the glass go up and down as you, uh, as you pull it down and up. Definitely, you won't hear it. It also has nice sound deadening systems on the doors. And even when we passed by a tractor or some sort of construction site over there, we weren't able to hear it. It's, it's odd. But don't get me wrong, this still is a diesel. It still has that you know, noisy diesel clatter all about it, but you won't hear it inside at all. Probably when you hit the accelerator pedal, you hear that drone. But apart from that, you won't hear any, you won't hear any diesel clatter at all. But once you step out, yeah, you definitely hear it. I'm really enjoying this cold, really, 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 really cold Nissan air conditioning. I mean, come on guys. What, what, what? Nissan, what are you guys doing? Where are you getting your air conditioning from? Now, a lot of guys' consideration for buying a uh, diesel car or a diesel truck has got to be that fuel economy. 
Now with the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4, it's no exception. Diesel's definitely cheaper than gas. And in this car, you would be getting around eight kilometers per liter in the city. And once you hit the highway, forget about it. 14, 14 kilometers per liter. How does that sound to you? <laughs> Drop us a comment in the comment section down below and tell us what's the best fuel economy you've gotten out of a diesel truck, SUV, or even a sedan. I am sure that the Nissan Navara Pro 4X would be on par with that. That's fine. Steering is heavy, I'd say, for a truck. We're gonna turn around this roundabout here. And at low speeds, you'd probably be wanting it to have um, lighter steering, help you out with parking, but yeah. I guess what Nissan wants to show you is that the Nissan Navara Pro 4X is a man's truck. But it's too heavy for me. <laughs> so I guess I'm not their market. A pricing for the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4 starts at 1,849,000 pesos. As of the last checking, as, as of the last checking, huh? you might want to head over to zigbos.ph for the latest pricing, descriptions, and you know, links in the description box below. Now about that price, like I said earlier, trucks enjoy these tax breaks afforded to them and um, because of that companies are able to give it you know all the toys all the power all the looks without having to sacrifice you know the price tag and i think that's one of the biggest reasons why the truck wars are so prevalent in the country i mean you got you know you got different trucks from different brands vying for your for position as the number one in the market and vying for your money Damn, the, the Nissan Navara Pro 4X on the looks alone and with how it feels. I mean, we just <laughs> run over a rut over there and I can barely feel it. With the looks and the driving dynamics alone, I think a lot of people, I see why how a lot of people would be um, wanting to drive this around. Now the Nissan has a bevy of safety features, which uh, proves their Nissan intelligent community philosophy. They got seven airbags, ABS for the electronic brake force distribution, forward collision warning with active braking, lane keep alerts, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. You also have uh, proximity sensors, 360 degree camera, rear parking sensors, front parking sensors, everything but the kitchen sink. So the Nissan Navara is not just rugged, it's also a safe truck. There you have it folks in what could be one of the hottest and brightest entries in World War Truck Philippine Edition has just arrived. You've got the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4 here and I think visually Nissan has a winner right here. What do you think? Do you have any other trucks in mind that can take on the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4? Leave us a comment in the comment section down below and while you're at it like this video, subscribe to our channel, and smash that notification icon so that you're updated whenever we upload a new video. Once again, it's Roy Robles here from zigwheels.ph, hot and heavy here on location. I'll see you guys next time.